Order, slaughter, electrical tape around the daughter. Old school, new school, need to learn though. I burn, baby, burn like disco inferno. First term I sang Al Green. In my second term, I'm going with Young Jeezy. <laughs> <laughs> She'll say, yeah. 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 Who is president of the world? You hate seem him like the man. president is getting blacker and blacker. I love it. <laughs> well, he is. Once that second term hits, he's going to be like, fuck yeah. Got a natural, motherfucker. In my first term, Yo, it's Reach Around the Radio. It's your boy Speedy in the house. Are you just going to talk over the president like that? It's your boy Speedy in the house. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Just <laughs> so want to thank everybody out there for listening to the show. To all my beautiful women out there who care about me. This is for you. Where do you come up with this? What can I do to deserve it? Come on, Speedy. Can't fuck this up, nigga. Lord knows I'm only human. Uh oh. Ghost piano. <laughs> Some way to go our way. For some <laughs> You love that, don't you, Ben? No, I don't. Yes, you do. Did you get taller? <laughs> I raised my breast up on the table. Wow. <laughs> it's your boy Speedy in the house. I'm the poetess. It's your girl, Claudia Jordan. Teeter. Mr. 123 Knox, baby. And the white boy, RT, is in the building. What's up, y'all? Oh, oh Speedy? Give it up for off key, everybody. <laughs> we have a caller. Caller, what's your name? Barry Bungalow. <laughs> what's your name and where you calling from? Bungalow. Turn your house down. What's your name and where? Yep. Okay. Hello. Hey. Finally worked. What's going what's on, y'all? What's your name and where you calling from? Uh, this is Capricorn from Texas. Hey, hey Capricorn. Capricorn. <laughs> Capricorn, he's a Sagittarius. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Virgo. <laughs> what up, man? Who's that? Uh, oh, yeah, um, Portis, Portis, Portis. Oh, Lord, what? I have something to disagree with you about. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. <laughs> about the medical doctor. Uh huh. You just said that we should always do research when we try to change our diet. But the thing I have a problem with is that when all these major companies come out with these new trends of low fat this and low calorie this, we don't question that. We just go buy it and eat it. But when the doctor comes on and suggests we do things naturally, why do we have to question that? I mean, this, I think this guy is out for, you know, our best interest is living and eating better. We should just take that and just run with it. I didn't I didn't I wasn't in sin- referring to the doctor. I was saying with anything you should research, yeah. you know, that because he's not an actual of- doctor. He's a natural path. Natural. Well, path, and plus, yeah. even if you do something that's considered like, like, like you know, a, through a healer or whatever or a natural, you still have to see if that's good for you. You know what I mean? Like, you don't know if you're lacking some kind of uh, iron minerals, you might be whatever. Allergic. You might be allergic. That's different. You still have to do your research and your due diligence. She's right. not. In other words, don't take all I should and run with. It. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we just we put the disclaimer on us. It's kind of late now, but yeah. and even so, like so, with all the stuff that's on television, the prescriptions and stuff like that, and all the side effects. Yeah, and, research all that. Yeah, I would. But I will say that the shit he gave me, he told me to do for my back. It worked, so you know. Yeah. And I have, I have another question. Where is Zometheus rising at? Who? He's on Foxhole. I think his show is on Tuesdays now. Yes. Tuesday at seven o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Pay for that. <laughs> y'all thought about, have y'all thought about having him come to the show? Where you Where been? been? He's been on twice. <laughs> <laughs> Three times even. You I'm sorry. I, maybe I missed it. I'm sorry. It's all good, <laughs> it's all good man. No, we appreciate your call. Zoe is, you know, Zoe is family. He's been here a couple times, and he's uh, back on Foxhole Tuesday nights at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I don't think he's time. allowed to come back over here no more. Yes, yeah. he Why? Is. No, they put down the gauntlet. Did they really? Yeah. Come back over here no more. Uh-oh. Where? Appreciate the call, though, man. How's the weather there? Man, it's hot as hell already. We ain't had no spring. It just went from winter straight to summertime. Wow. It's crazy. Go. I saw on the news today they had like over 800 dolphins um, they found yeah, one of them was dead. named uh, RT. Dolphins. 
It was they named one of the dolphins RT. Oh, oh did they really? Yeah. <clears throat> nice. I was, so I was like, uh, what you doing out there in the water? I was about to say Man. fish, but they ain't a fish. <laughs> Hi, my name is RT. <laughs> I'm a mammal Hi. named after me. <laughs> Hi, my name is RT. Um, I'm a dolphin, and nice to meet you, Manatee. <laughs> <laughs> is that Flipper? <laughs> they call me Flipper. <laughs> this is the weird shit, RT. So, always, who wants to be a comedian in his other life, <laughs> it takes me about five times. Speedy, Speedy, they're on the news. They got uh, there's a dolphin stuck in the water. His name is RT. So I'm looking at the text going, <laughs> okay, nigga, whatever. I'm watching the game. <laughs> okay, nigga, did you look on the news? I'm like, nigga, this not funny, <laughs> but I'll do it anyway. The dolphin's name is. And that was the one that was in uh, Huntington Beach. Uh, he's still there. They, they don't want to take him out. They want to. No, he hasn't left. Save him. He's, he's got there. a blunt in his blowhole. <laughs> 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 he's bogarting the blunt. That, that's the thing that be killing me. He got all these people spending a thousand dollars a day. The motherfucking is in the water. Yeah. He's not walking on the street. <laughs> if he want to leave, he going to leave. They out there paddling and splashing the water. Go this way. Go this way. <laughs> and, and they're all white. Yeah. No offense. Hey, Our yeah. White they got the street some... blocked off. Man, you can't go down. We went down there to go see the... See the... Yeah, I think... No, no, no. The dolphin, really? I don't know why we think we can interact with animals like that. I have no Especially idea. Dolphins. But we just think we can. No, with all animals, we do that. Well, there were like every single were, animal. We think we can just we're, we're, we're its pal, its buddy. People were stopping <laughs> off on the side to watch him, and the highway patrol was pulling over and giving people tickets yeah. for parking on Why? the side. Oh, you're, you're not supposed to park there. You're not supposed to park on. on it says no on parking PCA. ever. Yeah, PCA. Like really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can't park on PCA. Look at the dolphin; the it could die. <laughs> Yeah, but you gonna have a car accident <laughs> trying to look at that dog. Then we'll have to eat dolphin steaks. Oh no! <laughs> all right, you all right? Uh, always. Always, you almost fell. You tripping? Tripped on your new hair? <laughs> <laughs> Damn these curls, they so luxurious. <laughs> <laughs> it's making me stumble. That's the white man. <laughs> I'm the white man. <laughs> Claudia, are you being subtle? Yeah, go ahead. It's all good. That's the hair boy. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you only need one, one thing. thing. What's that? <laughs> Claudia's sick. Mm. Mm. Time for our game show. Which one? <laughs> Call Guess What Race. Guess What Race. Or if you're listening to Friday's show, Guess What Person. <laughs> <laughs> Sponsored right. by Sudafed. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna read a couple stories. It's not gonna be that many today. And, uh, <laughs> and we're out of here. Yeah, yeah. Well, y'all figure out who it is. All right. All right. Hold on, let me see where she is. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, hold on. A model in Miami. And by the way, <laughs> while she's all these dick together, pics. we all did uh, go out and get the Cali Girl oh, yeah. tea because no Speedy more. has to get rid of that gut somehow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Speedy, you're going to make it a lot of turtles for Madison. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, it's a lot of turtles in here. <laughs> all the turtles. <laughs> The big turtle had baby turtles. <laughs> I'm in a turtle village. <laughs> Look at the turtles. <laughs> I'm going to name that one Michelangelo. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right, all right. I bedazzled my turtle. <laughs> I put a collar on one of them. <laughs> this turtle soft. All right. A man told police he left the scene of an accident because he... <laughs> Why is his tail green? <laughs> Why is my turtle two colors? I don't get that. <laughs> that was weird. Somebody just now listened to the show going, what is going on? Turtles is doo-doo. If you're just, <laughs> if you're just tuning in to us, turtles are doo-doo. Pretty much. Yes. Now, go ahead with your joke. <laughs> Teaching kids to potty by Speedy. <laughs> <laughs> turtles is the reference. Turtles. All right, CJ. All right. <laughs> Thank you. We had ran out of uh, oh, you about to turn the album over. <laughs> it's so hard to talk, so uh, that's what she said. Don't interrupt. Hilarious. All right, a man told police he left the scene of an accident because he was afraid he was going to have another accident of another kind. According to police, the man left the scene of an accident and ran towards a nearby Walmart store where he was found a few minutes later. The man was charged with a DUI hit and run and leaving the scene of an accident, including an injury, which is a third degree felony after his car crashed into another vehicle and newspaper boxes. Police say the man had a strong smell of alcohol emanating from his breath and clothing and that his eyes were bloodshot and watery. He declined a breathalyzer test and he said, hey, I didn't realize I hit someone. I pulled into the next stop. I had the runs and I had to go. 
Guess what race? Mm. Well. Turtle soup. Who <laughs> <laughs> likes it? Oh my god. Ah. Turtle soup. Pull over, Daddy. I want to play with those. <laughs> and the soup du jour is. Um, <laughs> I'll have that. Um, uh, like I said, we that was a very casual attitude. That's what it seems like. To, and and that, that seems like something a white person would do. Would just leave their car, let it hit somebody. All because they have to go make turtles. <laughs> um, I'm going to say that's a white person. White person. Yeah. All right. Caucasoid. POTUS. I'm going to say black because it kind of reminded me of that scene in Friday. <laughs> the father ate the burrito. <laughs> I'm going to say black. Black. Okay. Speedy. It's real easy. They ran into a Walmart. Let's leave it that. <laughs> White folks. Uh, yeah. Colonizers. White folks? Black mm-hmm. folks Mama, yeah. live in Walmart. Uh, but apparently they were close. He was almost home. He Have you been to a Walmart in Vegas? Oh, my God. It's horrible. Or the emergency room. You never want to go there. We'll explain <coughs> that later. Uh, TDB? <laughs> That's happened to me before. Yes. <laughs> but I'm going to go European. Yeah. European. Uh-oh. Okay. European. Everybody's locked in? Mm-hmm. White? Yeah. Black? Mm-hmm. White, white? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All righty. The man who had to run... Because he had to run, was a 29 year old white boy. Yeah, white. Bernard Cato. White man. That's right. Back. We'll yeah. be we'll be racist, but we're not gonna shit in our pants. <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell my story? What he was doing? God. I was going down Venice, like on uh, by motor. Mm-hmm. So I'm crossing the light. So I'm going through. So. It just kicked in like, you know what? You got a boo-boo right now. You ain't got time to do nothing else. But get out this car and boo. I was like, I do. You do. So I you do, do. Little side streets right there. I'm like, I can't go right there. Some dude walking his dog. So I go down a little bit further. Like, Ryan, pull up in your dog. <laughs> pull her right on this lawn. Just jumped out. Pull my pants down. No, you didn't. On, somebody's lawn. <laughs> on somebody's lawn. No, the shit hit the car on the street. He jumped out so fast. <laughs> you said, blew down. Hike, hike, hike. Man. And I just laid in the grass and just stood it. <laughs> like a my dog? Ass yeah, like a dog. I just <laughs> cleaned my ass on the grass. Wait, wait, wait. So you shit on a passing car? <laughs> no, I pulled over in his driveway at an angle. I just jumped this out. I had be no. True. It's true. <laughs> wait a minute. Somebody lived in the house, came outside now. What kind of dog is this? <laughs> I'm in the yard, but the shit hit the car parked on the street. And you got uh, back in your car, it was all good. No, nah, I got on the grass because it was like it was like a nice, it was you like dewy on the, ass? on the grass. Like dogs? Just, just scooted like on the grass. Sco- like you scooted like a sick dog that has an inflamed anus. Right. <laughs> okay. And you thought that cleaned it. Because I had to hurry up because people was walking their dogs and stuff. <laughs> what was, was that a, man a doing? Super you didn't have no toilet paper? No Not tissue? in the car. I wasn't going to take my drawers off and do all that. I had to hurry yeah, up. Just enough time to unbuckle, pull, splash! That was it. I didn't have no See, time to I do nothing. I can't even believe you're sharing this story. Oh, yeah. It was, that was a great night. <laughs> and you I'd never done that before. Then you went to work. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know dogs ate corn. <laughs> this is weird. Who put so these turtles you, out here? <laughs> what did you do afterwards? Because you still had to have some boo-boo remnants on your butt even after remnants? wiping it. His drawers had to be a mess. <laughs> no, what I did oh. was... With my right leg, I was still driving. With my left leg, I put it in the seat so I wouldn't have to squish nothing. <laughs> so I was driving with one bad. leg in the seat. This is too bad. Until I got to the hotel. and Can I use your bathroom? <laughs> I still and had then the you took a bird And bath? where can I buy some underwear? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> underwear for 3000 please. Wow, Tina. Yeah. One of those that's, that's disturbing. This has yeah. been Doo Doo Stories <laughs> with TVP <laughs> on A and E, dropping a load on you real soon. <laughs> Where do we go from here? Uh, yeah, how can you top that? Can Guess top the next that? story, Mark. <laughs> Guess what, person? <laughs> a woman is facing felony charge after being accused of threatening to blow up the electric company. Hmm. <laughs> the woman was enjoying her day until she learned she was charged with a felony of making a bomb threat. Mm-hmm. Supposedly, she said, I'm going to blow up the electric company because y'all will charge me for electric I haven't used. It all started with a look at the electric bill. Apparently, it was too high for the customer. So she picked up the phone and called the company. And that's when she admits things got ugly. The call was not recorded, but employees at the other end of the line will testify against the woman in court. Police say the woman has had a history with threats. 
In 2011, she was charged of making yet another bomb threat. However, she wasn't charged. I don't have a criminal record, she said. I'm struggling to pay $40 a month for rent. How the hell am I going to buy some bomb oh, equipment? Easy. She's on it's easy. Eight. I don't even know how to make a bomb anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I gave that up. The woman says she wishes things would have happened differently. As for the electric bill, she thinks she still should not have to. I'm sick, niggas. Uh, she still is convinced she should not have to pay the bill. The woman is protesting a bill and the amount of fourteen dollars. <laughs> oh my oh. god! She has since apologized for her behavior. Guess <sighs> what race? <laughs> As you play, drop the bomb on me. That's hilarious. Um, I gotta, I gotta think because. You want to say it so bad. I'm gonna I know. say it. I know you want to say Black it. Black people like to go big. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they like to go big and I'll blow this motherfucker up. I'll blow this bitch up. Do it again, do it again. I'll blow this motherfucker up. That's, that's what y'all do. <laughs> Why'd your hand go that high up? It was the woman going there. Because I'll, yeah. I'll blow this motherfucker, this whole motherfucker up. Oh, y'all. You dead, dead, bam, dead. No more electricity bill. Boom. <laughs> you got to know who's saying it. That's why you put the hand up. Yeah, that's the hand up. Yeah. A black person said that. Like a Negro. Yeah. And yep. you, well, you, Coon you shit. said that. Okay. Powders. Mulian. You almost um, got me. You I'm going to say black for the simple fact that she's paying $40 a month for rent. <laughs> and mad about a $14. She's clearly on <laughs> Section 8. Yeah. <laughs> and $14, oh my God, my electric bill is like five hundred dollars right now yeah it's because you smoke weed you know, those and fans. because i got hydroponics popping <laughs> off when i'm playing i got a grow room <laughs> you got a grow room and shit now nah, go ahead no nah, I, I i say black okay definitely black because <laughs> unfortunately <laughs> rt is right cause we get on the phone look motherfucker i said i well, how about I blow you motherfuckers up? How about that? Over fourteen dollars. Yes. Because we don't we don't look at it like that. Till you show up and they go, ma'am, you know the bill is only fourteen dollars. Well, bitch, I'm sorry. Y'all made me mad and I'm there's principalities sorry. involved okay. in this shit. Black. Fourteen dollars. Okay. Fourteen dollars and forty dollars. Peter. Fourteen dollars is a lot of money when you're on Section Eight. That's a lot. That's a third of her money. rent. Yeah, that's a lot of money. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Like, what's she had on a flashlight? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna both? go. Uh, come on, man, get over here. El Salvador. I'm gonna oh. go El Salvador. Mexican? Why yeah. do you say that? Because they are to really be different. They they moving from pesos to dollars. So the conversion rate. <laughs> so the conversion is rate is carry the, yeah. carry the one. Thank you, Claudia. All right, fellas and lady. The woman who went ballistic over her bill was a black woman. Oh, yeah. named Deidre Reed. Deidre. Deidre. Reed. The name, yes. Trust me. And then the fact that she apologized, because that's how we did. We go, motherfucker, <laughs> I'll blow all you. How much? 14? Okay. I got yeah, because see, white people don't do that. We just, everyone is assassinated. That's how yeah. that works. <laughs> and right. then, or there actually was a well, bomb. Y'all yes. would blow them up if they try to come turn your shit off. Well, we're not going to tell no, nobody they, there's a bomb. they'll blow if you fire them from yeah. the yeah. <laughs> And we're not going to tell you what we're going to do. Yeah, it just happens. We no. announce shit and don't ever do yeah, it. Exactly. Y'all do shit and don't ever announce <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Y'all ready? Yes. Yeah. This is in your state of uh, Georgia. Here. Oh, awesome. Mm, here right? we go. A grandmother shot and wounded one of two armed men who tried to rob her outside of her daughter's house. Okay? I thought I was going to die, she said. And she wanted to take someone with her. Police said the wounded man remains hospitalized under 24-hour guard that she shot. And will be taken to jail when he recovers from a gunshot wound in the abdomen. The hospital uh, or the police will disclose his location. The woman says she owns several convenience stores and gas stations in Georgia. And she was looking through a purse for her phone when someone started yelling and demanding money. She said, I ain't got no money. Then he said... You don't open the door, I'll shoot you. I answered him and said, you're going to kill me no matter what. So she fired back. Mm. He shot the passenger side window. The bullet went through the driver's window. I backed up and he missed me. And uh, she busted caps. She said the second man was standing in front of the car and he had a 48 caliber gun. <clears throat> Guess what race? I'm going to go uh, TDP on this one. And... Uh Read into the clues. Please do. It's the, uh, I changed nothing on this one. Read the being, tea leaves. Being that it's um, uh, 20th year anniversary of the uh, L.A. riots. Okay. Macon, Georgia. And I just saw um, a lot of pictures of Koreans with guns <laughs> <laughs> protecting themselves. Being that this was a 7-Eleven, they said they own several of these, right? <laughs> I'm going with Koreanese. Koreanese. Okay. Hmm. Asiatical. 
Asiatical. Wu Tang Clan. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, they have Asians in Jamaica and um, Georgia. Oh yeah. On the Asian side of town. I don't, <laughs> I'm feeling uh, my usual Latino on the Of course side. you do. Mexican. <laughs> Mexican. I'm going to go with that. All right. Speedy. RT, mm-hmm. we've been rolling pretty good today. Yeah. We're on fire. On Let's fire. stay with it. I'm going to go real uh, racist. Gook. <laughs> oh, wow. my gosh. You're going 60s racist. Yeah. Yeah. Gook. Wow. Old fashioned. Right. Old fashioned hey, racist. Teeter. <laughs> Augusta, Georgia, store owner, multiple chains. Uh, I'm gonna go European. Oh wow, Crackers. European granny. Why? Okay. Yeah. Either, yeah. Yeah. Ready? So yeah. Asian. What'd you say about it? Mexican. 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 Asian. Euro. Euro. Three for three. The hat trick. The granny that bust off was a 57 year old. Filipino woman. Oh! oh yeah. Asian. Yeah, that's, that counts. That almost counts. Name Luisa Gook. Lulu Campbell. They ain't gonna mm. play with that you shit. Got that. They don't know the gun law. They just, I'm shooting. <laughs> I only got three for you. I'll tell you the last one's boring. So that's this has good. been another edition of Guess What Race. <laughs> We're gonna and the take- sick model coming around the stretch. <laughs> and here she comes. And she wins it by a snot booger. <laughs> <laughs> or a turtle. <laughs> She's back down. I'm still recovering from TDP stories. So <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take a quick break. It's Reaching Out Radio. Are Happy potatoes. Monday, everybody. The phone potatoes. lines are open. 323-247-7443. Yeah, punk. Pull my pants down and shit it on your yard, punk. <laughs> Quiet and good order will be maintained in our city to the best of our ability. Riots, melees, and disturbances of